Ladies and gentlemen, once again, we're outside the booth, inside the gym, down here in Fight Ready in Scottsdale, Arizona, with Jacob the Tiger Guerrero, recently made the pro debut. Man, how are you feeling? I feel great. I feel great. It, it's uh, it's a complete different ball game to fight uh, to fight pro. Uh, yeah. To fight in America. Um, I'm very excited for what's coming. I'm very excited yeah. for what's coming. We, we had a fight coming up in October. Fell through. It fell through. We're still we're still in camp. Anything that comes up, we'll be ready. That's kind of been the story of both your amateur career and now pro career. Opponent changes, things not working out. How frustrating is it to go through all of these different fluctuations? I mean, it's, it can be annoying, right? It can be yeah. when you're preparing for someone and they change it when you're preparing and then the fight falls, the, the fight falls through. But, I mean... When you're in camp, you're preparing yourself. You're you're sharpening up your tools, right? But yeah. when you are training, you're 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 getting more tools. You're you're learning. You're you're improving. So you know you, you can see it. You can see the cup half full or half empty. It's all about perspective. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Uh, I've been learning a lot. I'm definitely not the same guy I was two weeks ago. I'm not the, yeah. definitely not the same guy I was. Last Monday. Every day so, it's 1% yeah. better, it's new things. Now, uh, listening to a couple of your interviews before that June 17 clash uh, in Boston, Massachusetts, you know, kind of a lot of the same thing, 300% better, feeling all that. And then, pro debut. Didn't go the way you wanted. What happened? Uh, I, I, would, I would say it was the hesitation when I, when I kicked him and liver. I, I thought, okay, this is it. I had him. Yeah, I, and then, then he shoots, and uh, as I'm getting up, I, I I thought I was, you know, if I'm honest with you, when I, when I have my eyes closed, I thought I was still there. And then I open my eyes and see the the the, the guy from um, the, from the commission. I'm like, you're like, damn it. <sighs> it is what it is. Like, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, it, it, it did hurt the first three minutes, right here. Yeah. But uh, then you know it, it's nothing. We, we 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 keep we keep moving. We keep going. Yeah, it happens. It, it, it's part of the game. Uh, uh, two uh, two guys get in there. One guy has to come out with his end race. So it, it really doesn't you know it, it really doesn't change anything of, of, of who I am. I uh, I switch camps from uh, Tiger Showman's now. I'm here at Fight Ready. Uh, we're working a lot on the ground. Uh, already, I'm a complete different version yeah. of myself. And I'm and I'm you know. It's part of the game. What what influenced that change? Because you sounded like the biggest advocate for Tiger Showman's. You love the team out there. Obviously, Burgos, massive fan, great great friend of yours. And here we are in Arizona. What what kind of happened? Um, nothing, nothing but respect, nothing but love uh, on Tiger Showman's. I just I just felt I needed to be on a wrestling team. Uh, sure. Tiger Showman's is mostly a striking a striking gym. Yes, I, I was I was still working on, on on my ground game. I was still. But I, I think that it was mostly on it was mostly striking days than than, than grappling days and and, I and you're like, like I've got a hole in the grappling that's what I need to work massive, on massive 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 hole I'm a completely different person when I'm standing up versus when I'm on the ground uh, for now <laughs> for now <laughs> for now but uh, uh, I felt like when I, I tried it because uh, I came here for, uh, for like three weeks with my wife and, and we completely fell in love with Arizona. And uh, I don't know. It was just part of. It, it was just life. Life yeah. just just brought me here. I I, I thought that I was never going to leave Fight Ready. I thought I was never going to leave the uh, uh, Tiger Showman. Tiger Showman. Yeah. I thought I was never going to leave the the East Coast. But yeah. I don't know. Life literally forced me here. So. And you have been bouncing around. I mean, starting out down there in Florida with uh, Masters and Sanford, and then up to New York with Showman's. Now out here. What has been your favorite climate? Because they're all different, right? New York. Florida and Arizona, they're all quite different. I'm not going to lie, I love New York, mm -hmm. but uh, it's so complicated to live in New York. Right. It's so complicated. Expensive. Oh, fucking super, insanely expensive. Super expensive. Every day I have to fucking wake up at 5 a.m. or 4 a.m. to move the car because I'm going to get a parking ticket. Right. Just to move it across the street. Right, yeah. You know, it, it, it's ridiculous. Oh, and, and getting there and finding parking or having to stay in the car. But it, it was just, you know... I love New York, don't get me wrong, but I Those just, tiny frustrations yeah, build up and it, you're just yes, like... Yes, yeah. uh, here I have the freedom. I I, I I had a lot of beautiful experiences in every single gym, but uh, I don't know, I would say the 
Florida's weather is it's nice. It's nice. Uh, so you like the humidity? You're okay with the humidity? Well, I'm, I'm Hispanic. I, 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 grew, I grew up in that. You know, it's just it's just part of the uh, uh, you know the, part of life. Yeah. Take me back to those early days in Panama. Growing up there, what were some of those difficulties that people who in the states or other countries might not understand? Over there is a completely different ball game. From I, it's it was funny to me when I came here and, and I and what people were saying. Oh, it's only thirty dollars. It's only forty dollars. Thirty dollars is basically a minimum wage a yeah. day in Panama, right? So, would you would you say you 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 do? Landscaping here versus doing landscaping there. You, over there, you might get twenty five, thirty dollars. You you get a, a day. Here, you would get one hundred twenty, one hundred forty, one hundred fifty dollars yeah. for one day, right? And uh, so thirty dollars there versus thirty dollars here sounds completely different. Yeah. So minimum wage over there is like that's why it's a completely different thing. When here you see guys that twenty, twenty one years old living living by themselves. Versus people in Panama, you can't do that. No, you you live with you you have you even bring your wife to your mom's house. Like it's it's <laughs> crazy. It's crazy. Would like, you say that the opportunities for growth in Panama aren't there? Uh, I was I was actually studying, and I, I was my mom is a, is in a really financially good position, but yeah. that's her money. That's 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 right. what she built. I wanted to have my own thing. And uh, I dropped out of law school because uh, I, I, I had a good with my mom. I, like we were gonna have, a, we were gonna work together and, and, and following in her footsteps. Is what yes, you said. Yeah. and uh, so I think opportunities are there, but uh, not for the, but the opportunities are here. You right. Me? So, so you need to go kind of where that is. Yeah. Tell me about that law school though, because twenty eight years of age, you drop out of law school. Your mom was really not pleased with it, but oh, I I get that. You gotta follow what you're passionate yes. about. and. I mean, look, lot, my dad's a lawyer as well. Kind of boring, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna lie, I can't read that much. Affidavits, thousands of pages, it's oh, just not no. for me. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> it's, uh, it was just, it was just some, it was a decision that I made. I, I, I was always getting, get, getting fights here and there. And uh, I, I don't know, I, I, I tried MMA, I, felt, I completely fell in love with it. And uh, it was just, you know, that's what she wanted for me to be a lawyer. And that's not what you want. But that's yeah. not what I want. I, I want Regardless if I make 50,000 a year as a fighter, I'll be a thousand times happier than that even if I make- A buck 20 and you want to kill yourself every day. Completely. Yeah, that, yeah. That's, it's just not for me. Now, you mentioned getting into fights. There's one story that you talked about that I want to get deeper into on, and it involves a very specific Spider-Man skateboard that somebody stole <laughs> and you went and beat the fuck out of him. Do you still have the scar? Yeah, that's, yeah? That, that's the scar. That, that is insane. That, yeah, it was, it, like I'm, I'm a big fan of Spider Man. I, I when when I saw this, uh, I, I because I have massive ADHD. Like mm -hmm. like even even in this conversation, I've, I've gotten lost yeah. like a hundred times. <laughs> right. So I'm and the punches in the head truly don't help. Right. Right. So I was a kid and and, and my mom like like my mom wasn't doing that good at that moment. And I knew like with the sacrifice she bought that that, right. that skateboard for me. So she bought that skateboard for me, and I was so in love with that skateboard. Had Spider Man in the back. I, I was so I was so in love with that skateboard. So I came home one day. I left it outside, as I, as, I, as I used to do it. And I stayed and I stayed inside. And the next day I I, I came gone. out. It was gone. Yeah. A week, two week, three weeks came and passed by. And one of the guys that because the, the guy that took it from me was was like like, like a little bully. Yeah. And uh, he was older than us, and he was and one of my neighbors was like, "Hey, this guy has it in the backyard." You're like, oh shit, okay. okay. Yeah. So I just, I jumped the fence, I grabbed my skateboard, and he was coming in, he, he was having one, uh, he was having a juice, like a pear juice, I hate pear juice. Uh, that made it even worse. Like, yeah, oh, I was like, yeah, pear yeah, juice and taking you. my skateboard? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, hey, what are you doing with my skateboard? I was like, what? What do you mean your yeah. skateboard? And uh, to make a long story short, I I hit the guy yeah. and the guy falls in with, with, with his eyes all white and his friend is there. Yeah. And I just sit on the guy's chest and I go, keep mm -hmm. going. Yeah. And I saw the blood and, and, his, and his friend didn't get involved. He just pulled me back. He said, like, I'm not gonna get involved, just just, just, just stop, stop it. Yeah, he's done. And and I and I and I just and I just go to my house and, and I realize that I cannot move my finger. Yeah. It was like stuck like this, like and, and it was out of the knuckle. And I was like, oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I, like, I, I, I gotta I, tell my mom yeah, now. Yeah, like I could, I, my mom beat the shit out of 
shit out of me. <laughs> but uh, I mean, I got my skateboard got back. Skateboard back. <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> um, now I want to kind of get deeper into the the intellect that you possess because law school is not an easy thing, and you obviously sound quite articulate. How does your intelligence play into professional MMA? I think. If I'm honest with you, I feel that what makes the difference between me and other fighters is that I am a I am a smart fighter. This is this is a smart man sport. This is yeah. not a tough guy sport. This is not a muscles sport. I'm no not, meat I'm heads. Not, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah right. I'm, 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 if you see, I'm not I'm not that muscular. Uh, it, this is not a this is not a bodybuilding competition. This is this is how you trick the guy, and that, and that's pretty much what uh, and as conceited as it may sound. What I'm what I'm trying to do in there is I'm I'm trying to bully you. I'm trying to be like a puppet master. Like I wanna I wanna trick you. Lay into traps. Things. Yeah, bring hey, you in. Do what you're gonna do. What I want you to do, and yeah. I, and that's it. I'm I'm just I'm just gonna keep you guessing the, the whole time. That's that's what you know. Fighting IQ does, and uh, I still have eight nine years to fight. But I want to fight because I want to. I don't want right. to fight because I have to. Oh, well, I'm gonna get I'm gonna let this guy beat me up yeah. for six hundred thousand dollars. No, hell no. And fighting's not always going to be there, right? No. So it's like you could always pivot and go elsewhere later in your life. But right now, when you're athletically feeling it, you might as well fight. Yeah, you know? of course. Of um, course. And, and, and talking about the goals, right? Long term, you want to be a three-divisional champion yes. in the UFC. I'm going to. Going to be. It is inevitable. How does how do you get that done? I mean, what is the fucking process? When you wake up in the morning, how do you tell yourself the steps that you got to take? I mean, there's uh, there's this there's this coach from a football team. Uh, Louis Kerala, mm -hmm. he he says this thing about winning, about winning. Winning doesn't doesn't care how sore you are. Doesn't you know? Doesn't care how how well did you sleep. Doesn't care if you want to go to training. Right. When, when, like he said something. Are you willing to sprint if the distance is unknown? Right. So most of us don't. Who likes to get up? Uh, nobody. Like, nobody, nobody wants to do road work. Yeah. So so it's like. You know, I'm, I, I I gotta be there. I gotta be earlier than everybody. I, I gotta I got you know I gotta put myself in in, 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 in struggle because the struggle is what takes you that to that car. Yeah, that's pressure makes diamonds, baby. Exactly. And uh, so I, I I I think I have the, the the proper mindset. I think I have the the work ethic. I think I have the charisma to to to, to put myself in the position because these days you, you don't just get there by being good. No. You could be the best, but like we see with Leon Edwards, right, for many years, nine fight win streak, nobody yeah, gave a fuck. No, yeah, no, yeah. No, no, nobody wants to watch a fight, right? So, but if you get there, if you if you are, if you are, you know, talking your shit, uh, saying, saying, the things that, saying the things that you're going to do, pick your fights correctly, you're going right. to put yourself in that position, and here, I have my three belts and fuck fight, you can have it back. That's it. Yeah. Uh, not, when I'm going out there. I'm going to make investments. I'm going to make movies. I'm going to. I'm going to get. I'm take it all. Take the world by storm. Yeah. And 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 see all my passive incomes uh, laying down on a on a yacht, <laughs> watching watching you all beat, your, beat the shit out of each other. I'm not just gonna. You know, that's Tiger Time right yeah. there. I mean, that's Tiger Time that's deep into the future. That's but it. I do. You know what? What's so interesting is. Some fighters, they're just immaculate through their amateur career, and then they tear it up in the pro. You've had those ups and downs. You've yeah. been in those positions where you've maybe questioned your will, your yeah. work. You've admitted that sometimes you get unmotivated. How do you bounce back from that? Yeah, I, 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 like, like, like I said, I lost on, on, on Combat FC, and on Monday I was already training. Yeah. You know, I, I, I didn't, I didn't get banned from, from the, from, from, from headshots. I didn't, I didn't get, ma I didn't get banned for anything. I didn't even. No get medical suspension. No medical ready suspension. To go. So, yeah. so you know, it's, it's like I said, it's, it's, uh, if you get in there saying I'm gonna win, just like when you're on sparring, tomorrow's sparring. I'm, I'm, I'm not jumping in saying, hey, you know what? I am gonna beat this guy. No, I get in, I get in the work saying. You know what? How how can I learn? What how can, can I, I get learn? better? Yeah, what can, can I focus I get on today? Exactly. <laughs> I, I, you you live you live you learn you grow. You you don't just come here to simply exist. You know? So sure. it's I, I think that that resiliency is was I don't think nothing hits as hard as life. And, and I'm gonna tell you something that I really don't talk too much in, in camera is I've slept in I slept in the in, in a hard floor. I, I I've slept in a house with sharing bathroom with 13 other people that was that was a moment that i was okay that this is gonna make me or break me yeah i was sleeping and i was having dreams with my mom telling me like, hey well at least you tried fuck that 
That's not gonna happen. Yeah, that's I'm not, not trying. I'm doing. I'm doing it. I'm yeah. the, I'm, and, I, and, I, and if I fall, I'm gonna get back up. And I was sleeping at the gym when I met my wife. I was living. I was living on the mat. I I, I extra clean it so I can sleep on the mat. Yeah. You know. And, and you either say to yourself, "This is where it's gonna end," or I'm gonna get as far as I can get. I'm gonna get there, or I'm gonna die trying. Yes. Yeah. That, that 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 that's just what's gonna happen. I'm not I'm not just gonna get this far just to get this far now. And a loss is not harder it's than nothing. sleeping on the floor. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I, I I was sleeping in a room in in Pompano Beach in Florida. I was sleeping in the middle. I had two guys on on, on each side, and the owner of the house was was on medication and they, oh no no visitors allowed. And they were bringing hookers and they, and they were smelling hard when they were smoking crack right next to me. Uh, and and I was you know. You're like, this is what I got to do right yeah, now. This it, fucking it, sucks. Let, let, it blows. Yeah, that was, but this is what I need to go through to get to the top. And I had to get up extra early because I had to take the bus to go to Sanford. Yeah. It would take me an hour and a half because transportation in Florida is terrible. Ass. Yeah. So, you know, that, that, so what's a loss when you, when you've experienced things like that? And like that, I can tell you so many other things. Yeah. But, uh, you know, so what's a loss to me? Talking about losses, a bit of a change of gears. You have lost the ability to enjoy junk food as much as you did. Um, <laughs> you talked about it. I got to ask you about it. What was your go-to junk food? Was there a specific place? Any specific foods that you would enjoy? I always liked those uh, those crazy combinations of like, like let's say, like there's like this. I like to try different things. Sure. Like, let's say there's this restaurant that had like this burger filled with batter and fried and like you like the crazy shit I you like the, the crazy, crazy shit. shit i love it I lo and i love brisket yeah wow brisket and like everything that that that, that i know is gonna clog my arteries and, and you're like get that shit yeah. inside bring yeah. it uh, well, if I'm it's ruining my body that's <laughs> 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 now last thing i got jake like what is that? Yeah, the rest of the year, I got to know. You said October there was a fight. It's fizzled out. I know uh, Combat FC is coming back in October. Maybe a, a repeat performance. Any other promotions? What can we expect from you moving forward? Um, I have my eyes on, on now that now that the 170 pound is uh, in uh, Combate in uh, Miami is open. Yeah. I have my eyes in there. I my, my former training partner uh, Vermin Ramos from Panama just fought there. Uh, he did an amazing job. Uh, um, that's where my eyes are right now. Uh, that, that's where my focus is. But to be honest, if I get a fight in a small promotion here, if I, I, I really, I really have no open to anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm open to anything. But the uh, so main objective: come in, train, get better, and whatever yeah, else happens, day. happens. Yeah, every single thing. I love it. But ladies and gentlemen, hope you've enjoyed watching Jacob the Tiger Guerrero. He'll be back in there and three division champion in the UFC. I hope we see that. <laughs> Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Every night, I can feel my leg, and my arm, even my fingers. The body. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you.